I will ask uh, David Zhang to introduce the speaker, Dr. Chu, the president of SIASAN. Thank you, Professor. Uh, I'm very glad and honored to have the opportunity to introduce Dr. Chu Dao Kui, the uh, president of CSN Robotics. Uh, it is the uh, largest robotics uh, company in China. It's public. The market capitalization is over uh, 10 billion US. Uh, I think RMB is over 70 or 80 billion. Um, sort of fluctuates, but it's um, around that level. Dr. Chu is definitely the, uh, um, for lack of a better word, the mogul, the, the key person in the Chinese robotics industry, and he holds many titles, uh, such, such as the um, president of the China Robotics uh, Alliance, or you call it Federation, whatever. Um, so I would say over one third of his time is spent at speaking at different conferences, uh, both in China and internationally. Um, so, well, I, I will not take too much time without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, President uh, and Dr. Chu Dao Kui, the president of CSN Company. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Professor Schiller, Today, it's my great honor to, add, to have the opportunity to give a presentation here. My name is Chi Dao Kui. I come from China. I'm the founder and the CEO of the CSON Robotics. I'm also the chairman of the Chinese Robot Industrial Alliance. First of all, I'm on behalf of Chinese Robot Industrial Alliance and my Chinese colleagues over here to express our warmly congratulations to the fifth Israeli Conference on Robotics. Today, my topic is about the opportunity and the challenge. I will give an analysis on Chinese robot industry. Here is the outline. First, uh, I want to discuss the challenges that robots face by now. And then I will give an analysis on Chinese robot industry. Third, uh, in, in dark, in dark for season robots will be given. And the final, I believe, summary. Okay, now let's go to the first part, the challenges faced by robotics. But we know robots is a very important concept and also a high technology. So we can get a conclusion. We say robots in concept is a success in the past years. But I think it's not successful for the market that it is to say, maybe inferior in the market. Why we do see that? Let's see. Robot, we always call the one of the greatest technological inventions of the 20th century. And also, robots is the peer on the crown of manufacturing industry. Major parts of the world are make strategic technology of robot. And also, robot will be changing the mode of manufacturing industry and our life. So we can say robot is very important. And also, it's successful on the 
only concept. But in Marx, I don't think so it is a concept. It may be failure. Why? Because more than half a century, the total numbers that Robert uh, was sold in all the country, only about two million units up to now. This is a very small number, as an order small market. Why? Let's see. Even though half of the numbers of the robots may be con uh, were contributed uh, by recent uh, 10 years, the right bar graph shows from the year 2009 bis now, uh, to now, it grows in the world it very fast. The growth rate is up to 30%. And the right buffer is about China. From the uh, bar graph, you can show the growth rate is double than the world of the growth. This is a terrible number. I think it's <clears throat> Now, let's give another word, density, to measure the robot market in the world. Up to now, the last two years, the average level, the density, is only five, uh, 58 in the world. In China, half. This means the numbers important so that the manufacturing works are very little. So the, the theorem of robot applications in the world. I don't know why. Almost 99.38% in the world. The manufacturing work cannot be replaced by robot. In China, it's nearly 100% and not replaced. Why? Robot is so important. Robot technology is so high. Why? The market is so little. Well, what work will be replaced in the future? And what technology and the robot are needed? This is so that we pay more attention to can say in the future. No, let's see the reason. I think uh, there are many reasons for the situation resulting in here. But the main reason, I think, uh, is the technology. The technology is not enough tool for the robot performance to, to meet the demands in the different industries. We know robots are lack of the perceiving system, such as vision, force, and so on. Another robot has also lack of flexibility. That means many kind of data tourist work cannot be done by robot. This is why so uh, small size of the robot market in the world. And another, let me say, the robot can only work in the structured work environment. And the fix of procedure can be by the robot done. This means the robot only do, do what just like equipment. Like a human flexibility, that tools that cannot be done by a robot. So I think that is the main reason. And another, we introduced the change of face of our robot now. First, it's for the industrial robot. In China, there are many kind of robots that work the in the labor intensive, just like the package shows. Here, the data tourist work, just like 3C in the cannot be done by robot. The two work by many, many workers in China. And another kind of work, such as no uniform manufacturer, just like remanufacturing. This also cannot be done by robot. Yesterday, when visited the EAI uh, company, they uh, manufacture aircraft. Just like cloth assembly, ship assembly, manufacture, 
This also can be done by robot. Another uh, problem for industrial robot is the safety problem. Just like this feature, the robot must be separated from the worker. That means robot cannot work with the home. This is another trend that face the development in service uh, industry. We know in China, we have more than 0.2 billion aged people now, and also over 80 million disabled men. So we needed many kind of service robot. I think the service robot market is big, much bigger than the industrial robot. And also for the space field, such as nuclear station robot, military robot, and water robot, and so on. This also meet the big challenges. So, if this kind of robot go to the, our worker, go to the industry, must be the technology to break through, such as the decision making ability, operating ability, interactive ability, and so on. This don't must be uh, breakthrough to overcome and uh, a new technology uh, developed to de meet the demand of a different kind of robot. Task and decision token and so on. Now let's give a summary. There are two properties for robots now. One is the machinery property, another we call the home property. The machine property belongs to the traditional robot. And now the new generation robot, it must have the home properties. And now we are in the turning point from the robot to home. And we can also see the soft time is coming. Here, soft not only means the software, it means smart intelligence, Big data and so on. Okay, next uh, we get an analysis on China robot industry. Here is the market in the year 2014. As we know, uh, in the year 2013, China became the biggest robot market in the world. And from now on, last year, growth rate for industrial robot in China is very, very fast. Here, the right, the blue bar is for the foreign brand, and the red bar is for the domestic. The bar graph shows in the year 2014, the growth rate is very, very fast, very, very high, near 80%. And the right shows the income Terrible terms, and this is a absolute increase. But uh, the competitiveness in China is not so good. From the bar graph, we can see for the articulated robot, very and the solder uh, worker, and for the industrial, that's not automotive, the foreign robot still dominate the, the position. The Chinese robot have a weakness of uh, capability. Now I will more detail about the analysis of the robot in the last year. You know, last year, the economics in China was not so good. Almost uh, all the industry go down. But the robot industry, it is still keeps the fast speed go up. Here, we get some data to differ, uh, to differ that. The first, we can say the domestic robot market in last year also kept growing so rapidly. Last year, about 22,000 uh, units of domestic industrial robot was sold in China. The growth rate more than 8%. But, uh, if we consider the fact that a new company had entered the market, 
the real sales growth rate is over 30 percent. This is also a very high number. And the domestic robot company are diversifying. Over 60 percent of domestic industrial robot company achieve growth in sales. Leading company over the 20 sales growth rate. Some of the companies suffered significant drop in sales. A full company were even eliminated from the market. This is also a big change in China. And uh, the uh, product structure improved. But just we mentioned about uh, the number in China, the domestic of the domestic is uh, uh, developed very fast, but the quality is not so good. Uh, last year, this uh, make a big change. Over 6,000 units of domestic multi joint rubber were sold, increased by 71%. Uh, and also, near 2,000 units of fetched disc rubber, this is the AGV, maybe, were sold, and the market sales achieved an increase of near 100%. Oh, this is also a terrible number. According to rubber, <coughs> rich. 10,000 unit of sales uh, account to near half of the total domestic robot sales. And the primary robot war, 2,000 units, dropped by 20%. This, this means that the simple robot in China dropped. But the comp a complicated robot, was a high level robot, this goes up. Figures of last year uh, indicate rapid growth in sales of high value added domestic robot. This is a big change. This is also good in uh, China robot industry. Here the bar graph shows the different kind of robot changes in last year. Also, the main operational areas is a, a, a little change. The main application layer of domestic robot is not uh, changed so dramatically. Over 60% of domestic robot were used for automatic moving, loading, unloading. And uh, this current, this layer was increased by uh, uh, over the 30%. A 70% industrial robot were used in various area, which is the second largest public area in China. And also robot used in processing areas such as polishing, grinding, laser cutting. Also obtained the rapid growth with sales increase by 90%. This kind of work is very complicated. And so that means that China quality in China is growth rate, yeah. <clears throat> and finally, the main applied industry. For the number, last year we can see so the food industry, medical industry, metal, chemical, manufacture, automobile industry, and those so on. That means that there are many, many industries that were used robot. And the junior equipment manufacturer and the electronic device manufacturer are the two biggest applied industry for the domestic industrial robot, with a percentage of near 19% and 70% respectively. Okay, next, let's see the China robot technology. We know the robot technology can be divided in four parts. The first is the core technology, and second, the key parts, robot manipulator, and the system integration. In China, up to now we have mastered the core, uh, core technology, but the key parts hold inside. That means most of the key parts imported from the foreign country, include Italy. <laughs> <clears throat> it's also the, the 
came past for China and also the big country. Yeah. And here is the robot industry in China. Up to now, uh, in China, over 30 robot industrial park, including Guangzhou, Guangzhou uh, robot park, and over six robot concept list companies, and also over thousand robot relative enterprise in China. So that means in China, there are many, many robot company, robot uh, parts company, grease company, or the uh, industrial chair that are. Okay, now let's uh, make a summary of this part. First, the China is the biggest role market and also the first, the motivator of the competition. And second, the China robot price has a large numbers but are not strong. The industrial development is fast, but not in old. This is a big problem in China. We should uh, overcome it in the future. And third, the industry has faced three potential risks in China. One is the key part of hollow inside. That means the China robot, the number is very, very big, but the quality is not so good. Many, many key parts depends on the foreign company. And also we can say the low end products and maybe the market marginalization. This is a three potent risk in the future. And for China, government we showed to foster China international robot enterprise. This is very important. Also it is a strategy for the government. And to construct national innovation standard inspection and testing platform. This is also the government should be doing in future. Okay, next I will show you seesaw robot development. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> seesaw is the biggest robot company in China and we have uh, uh, total robot families is just like uh, industrial robot, clean room robot, mobile robot, special, and so forth and so on. And also we have the industrial 4.0 solutions. And here is the uh, distribution CSON in China. <coughs> and up to now, CSON is also the top five robot list company in the world. The first one, the market value is ABB for Nuke, Saison. Ranked Saison uh, is at Gawa, Kuka. And Saison is also the growth rate in the number in the world this year. And here is a high in the market and the competence. More, more than uh, two thirds of customers for, of our company, the foreign enterprise, and also our products are exported to more than uh, 23 foreign countries and the region. Here, I will show you some videos. This is a new uh, type of progressive seesaw. I thought that for the, yeah, the time, uh, maybe, <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. Here is the first digital manufacturer that means robot make robot in China. Here, they are aware, automatic warehouse and the smart logistics robot, assembly robot with a mass system, ERP system. This is the demo, just like smart manufacture. Yeah, this is another uh, Offline program and a force control. This is for pollution. Here we can test the force talks in time. And this is another a vision and force based procedure and same example. It's a precision and a tight turn on a server. Must I use the force sensor and the vision sensor? 
Is this another? Oh, I'm sorry. Within base control, here the balls throughout for it, and this to determine the path and to catch it. Okay, here is another example for within base control. This is the, use the camera robot to position and catch the different parts. And in order, in the same number, we can say here is one, four, two, three, and so on. This is another kind of what we call the clean room robot. It's a very common this FPD robot. Due to the time, uh, I don't say uh, here is a FM and the MHS. This is for a cheap. Uh, assembly. This is the in clean room environment. Also, this is the mobile robot. Uh, in CSON, the mobile robot is the leader position in the world. Oh, sorry. Meanwhile, across the way, Strange vehicles snake their way through the chassis Okay, this is a new type of mobile robot in warehouse, just like Amazon, the key one. <clears throat> Here is a new type of robot. This means an AGV combined, combined with the manipulate and using the uh, vision and the sensor to automate the path plan and to upload the automate. Okay, here is the DJ workshop in our company. No, let's take the third robot. <clears throat> Here is the robot used in restaurant. And we use the uh, SLAM technology to automatically pass plan and uh, automatic avoidance and so on. And this is the robot used to get your control. First of all, the must uh, understand the meaning of the different gesture. Here is the water. It must mean the water will show do. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> this is the fish and fish. And here it all the past plan. This is the obstacle. Yes, obstacle avoidance. And finally, I will show you some uh, the new 7X light robot. This is the co work robot we can also source. This is the, maybe a milestone for unloading that robot to develop in the future. And here, the robot can dance with the people. Okay, now <laughs> let's end of my uh, speech. First, the uh, redefinition robot had opened a new era of robot. And the second robot has permitted into different fields of home activity, such as manufacturing, special fields, and service, and so on. And also, the traditional robot technology had come to end. But the traditional robot product could last for a while. However, it's into the low-added value error. 
And now we are in the transition from the old to new. And the opportunity and the challenge coexist. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Chu. I must say it was very impressive. See, we were used to see robots from Europe, from somewhere else, and this was very, 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 very advanced.